you have a unique situation here with fresh eyes coming in and Brad Treleving and working together with Sheldon Keefe to get a new look on what is required. But in looking at what Brad Treleving did in Calgary, I think it starts on the back end. If you are, in fact, going to run the core four back, this isn't about supporting them. This is building differently around them. So start in net where he was able to acquire an unrestricted free agent in Jacob Markstrom. Looking at the Leafs situation, is Ilya Samsonov the guy? Is he, as a restricted free agent, going to have a price point that fits the Leafs long term? And is he the guy they want in net? Or do they have to go outside the market for that? Is Joseph Wall, in fact, in a brief display last year, is he good enough to be a backup? And the wild card is Matt Murray. What happens with him, whether there is a buyout in effect, but it really starts in net for me with a player like a Connor Hellebuck on the market, potentially. Do you look at something like that or are you happy with what you have? And it starts in front of the goaltender on defense where he was able in Calgary to acquire an unrestricted free agent in Chris Tanev. So obviously he can sell what he's selling. He was able to get the goalie in Markstrom as an unrestricted free agent, the defenseman in Tanev, another forward in Coleman. But on defense, if you look at that situation, I'm not sure that a Chris Tanev type of defenseman is on the market as an unrestricted free agent. That may have to be acquired in a trade. But Brad Treleving has also shown the capability to trade for defensemen, Noah Hannafin, Mackenzie Weger. Really about getting the back end solidified for me and how to build differently around that core four. It's not about going out and just getting a bottom six that supports them, just another winger that supports those guys. It's about building the team in a different manner. For me with Brad Treleving, it starts in net and on defense.